Hi everybody, um, we're Proud Fertility at the Mommy Licious Show in Grand Prairie. And so I'm going to ask some questions to a real life surrogate. Maybe you. And this is my daughter. <laughs> so um, come closer. I would like to ask you. She's trying not to. Okay, so why did you become a surrogate? Uh, it's something I've thought about my whole life. Um, after having my own kids, I feel like it's something that I can do. So there's so many people out there that can't have kids of their own that I just feel like it's almost selfish to not do it for someone knowing that I can. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Okay. Do you have any kids yourself? I have two of my own children. A boy and a girl. Okay, so um, did, was it an overnight decision uh, or was it just kind of like... It took me a long time to decide to actually go through with it. Um, I wasn't going to uh, just because I had really, really rough pregnancies of my own, but um, I just decided that it was something I would do. Cool. Okay, what's the hardest part about being a surrogate? Uh, I've had a couple of failed embryo transfers, um, so knowing knowing that it's not my fault, but at the same time feeling like it's my fault, having just failure, um, is probably the hardest part. So, like, you, as long as you follow medical it's protocol, um, the doctors deemed you, you know, a viable surrogate. Now, sometimes it doesn't work, and so, like, actually, a statistic for people who know, it's about sixty percent success rate for an embryo. <laughs> transfer to result in a positive pregnancy, let alone the entire um, journey. So for me, supporting some of these surrogates, it's, it's a long journey. Um, so it's like a really a miracle baby when babies are born through surrogacy and egg donation. Um, what about the injections? Was that a hard thing for you? Uh, no, I don't have any issues with needles, so I didn't really have any problems with any of the medications. And if you're a surrogate, if you do have problems with you are scared, you can get someone to take it, do it for you. Yeah, like if you have a support system or even if you take it to your local clinic, they, they, they can show you how to do it or um, if you have a doctor, they can do it for you. You said support network. What are, who, who are some of the people that help you or like, um, that are very supportive of your decision to become a surgeon? Well, I have my partner at home and then I also have friends that think it's a great thing and my mom as well who came out to help with everything while I went through the journey. Last question. So people always say, like, yeah. how do you, how do you, can you do that? Just giving away this child. Like, how do you mentally prepare or physically prepare that you're going to give this baby to someone? Uh, for me, it was more or less, I know that it's not related to me. It's not my baby, so it'll be easier to give up. I think it takes a really strong person to do that, even if it isn't your baby. Um, just because you hold that baby in your body for 10 months and build that bond, but... Yeah, I feel like it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be great. I'm giving a gift to someone who can't do it, and yeah. Do you do you know who you're going to give this baby to, or is it just you don't know who the person is? I do. I have some great intended parents. Okay, and you talk to them, or? Yeah, I talk to them on a regular basis, and we do Skype calls and emails, and yeah, we keep in touch. So the key thing is you don't ever give away. I mean. Flying up here, someone said, like, "Oh, I can't believe these women. They can just give away this child. You, you intentionally create this child it's out of their love. Child, yeah. It's not genetically linked to you. Yes, it's not genetically linked to you, but you, you're prepared. And you do psychological assessments to make sure you're prepared. And then there's always a support network for you. So thank you so much for just letting us ask you some questions. Um, this is Proud Fertility Surrogacy and Egg Donation, and we're here at the Mommy Licious Show in Grand Prairie. Come on down.